This is the Ninjago City Market, and it just so happens to be the first Ninjago set that I've ever built. It is a very big set, spanning over two full-size base plates, and it's got 6,100 pieces. The set costs $370, which is a good amount of money, but with over 6,000 pieces, it's well below the 10 cent per piece average, and so I think is a fairly priced set. There are so many aspects of this that I was so impressed with that I can't show them all in this one video. There are hidden gems and details all throughout this set. The ninjas who can be posed for some awesome and dynamic fights. And you've got tons of fun little citizens for the city of Ninjago that are just going about their day in their various businesses. I could probably make five or six videos just showing you all of the details in this set. Of course, one of the most instantly noticeable features in the set is the big yellow gondola in the middle. And there's a set of gears on the side which allow you to raise the gondola either up or down in your city. As you can see, the set is full of different shops and places that you want to be able to get into, either to pose your minifigs or to be able to play with, and LEGO has a really cool system that they've done in this set that I've never seen them do before. Let's take this cute little pastry shop, for example. We've got this very cute little awning as an opening for this little pastry shop, but how do we get in it? Well, LEGO came up with this very clever idea to basically have a drawer system so that you can pull out the pastry shop, get inside, set up your minifigs, do whatever you want, and then put the pastry shop back in place into the city. And to let you in on just one more really, really amazing feature of the set, it has a working, functioning Lego toilet. You heard me right, this toilet in the bathroom here actually functions and flushes. I'm not gonna show you exactly how it works because I want you to be able to discover it for yourself, but just know that it's in here and it is a very cool and very fun feature. In the end, having never done a Ninjago set before this one, I was seriously impressed, and I think I'm probably gonna have to start getting some more Ninjago City sets in the future if the rest of them hold up to this high of a standard. This set's got cool architecture, cool building techniques, really good storytelling, and some awesome play features. What more could you want?